YouTubers, one man smoke back at you. Another day in paradise, Louisville, Kentucky. About 70 degrees out today, if not hotter. Monte Cristo, number four, straight from Casa del Habanos in uh, Cuba by uh, Mr. Pipe Smoker Jeffro. Jeffro bought me a box of these back uh, last year from his trip. Splendid little smokes. I was going to mention uh, my last video. Um, so much going on, I totally just forgot. I've been having, I've had people ask me, a lot of people ask me about uh, my wine and door project and they're curious about it and I've been meaning for the longest time to, to do an update and everything and so here it is. Uh, it's pretty much going to be all about uh, the wine and door and cigars and try to keep it short. OMS Casa del Habanos. Hancho in Cuba, Totamantes, Amano. It's a beautiful thing. Some shout outs, some major shout outs to uh, Dad of Dano, Bill, uh, for all his uh, help and uh, advice. Brian Beans 316. Uh, for his help and advice on everything and everybody uh, you know sending me uh, cigars and stuff like that um, big shout out to uh, Southern Cross Smoker the man from the land down under he's got uh, Australia's most dangerous ginger thorn bush going if you haven't seen him in a while you might see him come October in some videos but um, Carl's uh, helped out uh, with the, the modifications and uh, pretty much uh, you know uh, you know we were partnering we've uh, partnered up on uh, the uh, cigars so basically uh, you know uh, we buy them together I store them and then I ship uh, cigars to them because uh, if uh, those of you don't know <laughs> Australia's customs kind of treacherous I'll just leave it at that Weird things going on with tobacco around the world. It's uh, pretty insane. Um, now I guess in Australia you can't, vendors can't even sell uh, on websites and with any banding or identification of what brands you're buying or anything. It's weird. Totally sucks. Yeah. Another shout out to uh, Jack, the Greek 169. 
on, bro. Papaya! <laughs> Well, anyway, straight to the point. Um, got my wine door for about uh, 200, 195 shipped off of eBay. Um, I'll put the, uh, you know, the uh, all the information, the the model type, and uh, who I bought it from, and stuff like that. And then, uh, so that was about 195. For about an, another 200 or so, roughly 100 and, between 170 to another 200, depending on you know what kind of setup you do as far as shelves and drawers and dividers, you can get um, set up with all the drawers that I have from uh, Forest um, at WineAndDoors.com, and I'll leave a link uh, to his website as well. So that's about uh, four hundred dollars there. Then I just went kind of, kind of nuts with a lot of different, you know, custom modifications. I'm running a cigar oasis, um, electronically controlled uh, humidor, and I've modified that. I've taken out the floral, um, that green floral foam crap that um, they put in their stuff, which contains about maybe ten percent water and the rest of it 90 percent of its mass that's useless um, I went to um, a bigger um, reservoir uh, for that uh, I'm using a uh, Australian made uh, Noxua fan which is blows a lot of air but um, it's pretty much silent at uh, high RPMs, which cuts down on the noise. Got that all wired in and did some uh, splicing and stuff like that. And use shrink tubing to make it nice, clean installation. Uh, I've got a Ranco um, electronically controlled thermostat in there running. I got it set at about 70%. Right now, I got it. It's the temperature in my room basically runs about 80 degrees and I'm trying to I'm dealing with the humidity uh, from coming off of the uh, uh, thermal uh, cooler right now uh, trying to regulate that so it's kind of a work in progress um, and I'll show you you know um, I'll give you a little tour of what I've done so far so you'll kind of get a picture of what I'm talking about So far, I mean, it's I'm really happy uh, so far with the way it's worked out with about, I think the Ranco was about $50. The uh, Noxua fan was another $25. The Cigar Oasis was around $100. Um, I've got the fan set up on a timer, which ran about $20. And um, so, if you include all the little hardware and stuff like that, the um, uh, aquarium sealant, which is a vinegar-based uh, sealant, um, silicone, uh, which is, you know, it's a safe. Um, just kind of, I don't have a, I'm not running, working off of a list or anything like that, just stuff top of my head so if anybody's interested you got any questions you know feel free to, to hit me up just leave a comment I'll respond to it everybody's situation is going to be different based on your humidity levels your temperature and your climate where you live you know so um, I can't recommend one way or the other what you're going to need you might not need anything like uh, uh, Brian uh, beans 316 he's got his down in his basement it stays year-round I think around 65 degrees so he never has to turn you know the temps up the temps you know the cooler on really except maybe in the summertime and uh, keeps his um, 
um, beads in there, there's humidity beads in there, I think they're, and he's got to run a cigar oasis as well, and that's all he needs. And uh, I never heard him talk about uh, any issues with condensation. Um, but that's the issue, the only issue that I'm really having right now is just to, you know, modifying that, you know, getting that condensation uh, under control. And um, so I'm, I'm running, ideally I'd like to have it about 65 degrees, but I, I got it set at around 70. Between, it's, you know, between 65 and 70 inside there, so I'm happy with that. Anything above 70, I really don't want it to get that warm in there, so trying to find a, a happy medium. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this, man. I'll get this up. I got a lot of work to do. I got to go out of town um, this week, and uh, shout out to uh, Black Metal Pipe Smoker, Eric. Seems like he's got a, a fan fan uh, fan base of trolls going on. Like I said, um, you know, just brush it off, brother. Brush it off, and uh, yeah, they'll they'll get tired of messing with you, and they'll find somebody else, and they'll move on. Well, it's like uh, Jason said. I saw his comment in there. Just um, the more you address it, I think, it just feeds feeds them, you know. So. Anyway, peace and sweet smoke, everybody. OMS, I'm out. Casa del Habanos. All right, here's the back. I've got um, a uh, power surge protector coming in here. It's running the... Uh, I'm running a winding door um, through the uh, Ranco um, ETC. It's an electronic temperature control. Shorten the cabling. Thus the uh, orange outlets here. Um, this power pack here is for the This power pack here is for the um, fan. And this is controlling the uh, time that the fan's on. Right now I got it 24 hours, 15 minute intervals, on for 15, off for 15. It's got a water uh, resistant shield on there. It's uh, mainly used for outdoor use, just in case I have any kind of uh, leakage or anything like that um, this here is for the uh, modified um, cigar oasis and uh, this here for condensation control it's coming out of the uh, there was a drip a drip pan here I deinstalled that installed some uh, tubing there coming out of the drain from the inside underneath the uh, thermoelectric uh, cooler there and uh, mason jar with the o-ring on it and uh, doing the job but I do believe I'm gonna change that out <clears throat> because uh, I think I'm just losing a little bit too much uh, humidity and it's kind of working against itself so I'll end up probably blocking that off and running uh, condensation control um, from the interior um, problem is with this is it's um, you know losing condensation or losing humidity uh, how much I'm not exactly sure but this bottle will fill up in about a week. Um, everything's kind of uh, experimental um, for that. And, uh, but er everything pretty much is uh, 
you know, it's keeping good humidity and temperature, obviously. I'll go around to the front. All right, so um, here's the collection so far. Um, stocking it up pretty good. Got the singles here, got a lift out tray. Got a few uh, singles in here, some bahikis, uh, poor Larinagas, some Petite Mundos, Monte Cristos, Romeo and Julietas, um, Cohibas, and here I got some uh, good old age stuff in here. St. Louis Ray, Monte Cristos, Boulevards. Some uh, 2008 Vegas Rubenas, Unicos, more, more Boulevards. So you can see the humidity down in here is about 63%, 69 degrees Fahrenheit, right where I want it. 65 over in that corner. And uh, about 7, they got it set at, I got the raincoat set at 70. And um, this is a uh, product of Australia. It's a uh, Noxua NF uh, P14 FLX um, fan. It's um, about a $50 fan. I got it on eBay for about 25 bucks. And that's running through there I got it uh, spliced in over here nice and um, got you know nice uh, shrink tubing put on it and I can disconnect it when I want and here's a cigar oasis it's uh, right at 56 like 58 I got the uh, doors open in here that's why the Humidity has gone down a bit. Got a polymer in there. This is some good stuff. It's about, uh, it's kind of like gel. It's a lot better than that um, floral foam that comes with the Cigar Oasis. That stuff doesn't hold any moisture in it at all. I have to change that thing out about every two days it seems. But um, the system's working out pretty good so far. Um, you know, like I said, I'm going to change that. The uh, condensation apparatus around so that where the whatever condensation is just going to pull down inside and then it's going to be recycled i just haven't figured out exactly what i'm going to do but um for the time being i mean it's doing the job it's just uh trying to keep the maintenance down a little bit and uh, got some uh 07 wine crystal petite mundos in here Got several boxes of those back in the back. And uh, some uh, oil de Monterey Epicure 2s. Romeo and Julieta, Short Churchills, Ramona Ionas, Rass, H. Upman 2s, Monte Cristo number 2s. Uh, my crystal number four it's coming together take this out here and I'll show you the that's the uh, the drain right there the condensation comes out of that thermal cooler and condenses and goes down into that drain and out the back and I'm uh, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna change that. This is the uh, thermal couple for the Ranco. Runs down all the way down to the bottom, comes out the back. So 
yep that's pretty much it for now and um, so it's a work in progress I'll just be fine-tuning it and adjusting it making some slight changes but right now it's doing the job it's supposed to do so I got these um, custom made uh, from a guy uh, his name is Forrest uh, wineadors.com <clears throat> these are pretty nice nice shelving so that's I'm it